You will notice these four pictures of a lady yeah, explain the various miracles he has worked in India in the 17th century, which has become the basis for the devotion to Our Lady of Barangani. Traditionally, only three miracles were known. The first one as uh, the vendor of milk, the little boy, he saw the saw a lady and uh, through her the, uh, the village of Rankhani came to know about her. Then the same, from the same village a lame boy was miraculously cured and he brought the news to the town in Nagapatnam to bring the landlord to build a little chapel there. And the third one, later on what happened, the Portuguese sailors were caught in a storm, were miraculously brought to Barangani and safe, and that became a miracle and they built the in Barangani. But the fourth one you see there, it is an additional miracle act. I experienced myself during my pilgrimage to the Holy Land. So I added it because through the intercession of Our Lady of Rankani, one of our members were lost in the town Nice in France. We found him and we continued our journey to the Holy Land. So these four pictures will explain the basis for the devotion to Our Lady of Rankani. Then on the ceiling you see the six sacraments. The sacrament of baptism. You have to take it from the meditation. And the confirmation. And this is the sacrament of reconciliation, confession. There you see the sacrament of marriage. Okay. And this one is the sacrament of priesthood, yes, ordination, yes. Sacrament of priesthood. Six times, the anointing of the sick. So you find six sacraments on the vault. The seventh one, which is the source, the center, and the acme of all sacraments, that is Eucharist, you see there in the center of the church altar, mm -hmm. the Eucharist. Sacrament of Eucharist. Some temple artists to do the artwork. I had problems with the visa, their visas. I don't know what to do. I was praying to somebody I could find locally to do this work. Suddenly a boy came off his own, an Indian boy of only 23 years old, just finished his high school whom I have not known him before, except I was the one who baptized him 20, 27 years ago. Uh, so he brought up his own kitchen. He brought this beautiful painting. He had done it at home and brought it to present to me. This is my uh, handiwork. Father, it I presented to you. When I saw this picture immediately, I said, here is the man I can use to do the art. He had not gone to any art school to learn, but he had a hidden natural talents. So I wanted to use him. And God seemed to have sent him to me. And God has been with him throughout four years to do this wonderful art and the ornament is done by one 
single young lad he didn't understand what he was doing but he was inspired by God the way he wanted everything fitted in perfectly so I always consider him my little Michelangelo yes because uh, I only give him the picture asked him to do it explain this what is even though he's not uh, uh, theologically trained he seemed to have got the inspiration from the Lord and has given the perfect and ideal pictures of everything I have indicated. From here you can see a beautiful view of the church and the altar. 